guy goes into a doctor's office. Why? He says, "I have a terrible frauds. I have a I have a terrible problem. I'm a I'm a moth." Uh -huh, yeah. The doctor says, "You need a psychiatrist." He says, "I know." He says, "Well, I'm a physician." He says, "I know." He said, "Well, why are you here?" He says, "The light was on." I'm gonna start cutting you off. Just. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions of Corbin. I'm a moth. And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you so much for following us account. Subscribe to the like button. Ever seen a moth's nipples? Yes. Uh, today we got a video from the, the, this channel. It's called... Read, read his name for me here. Ever smelled moth balls? Yes. How'd you get the little legs apart? Read this. What? Ronik Mangotil. Uh, we've seen Forgive one of, the mispronunciation. We've seen one of his videos before. It was the uh, cult films that were flops at the box office that became... Oh, okay. Hits. Remember yeah. that one? I remember that. This is the most anticipated Molly Album films of 2023. Okay, according to... This gentleman right here. Okay. Uh, so, first one I can think of is that one that got, that got leaked. Yeah, right. right. And then the Vikram one. Right. He's played like this like really village guy, yes, right? right. That's... Very anticipated. Fafa has a two coming out. I'm sure. Well, two. That's all he's got this year. The ones that doesn't I know. He usually come out with fifteen yeah, a year. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and then my bet is there's eight others that we don't know about. Probably because the, with Malayalam, even though we love Malayalam, I think the the best films of the year so far have all been Malayalam cinema. Yeah, it's not so a, far. not a shock, uh, at least for me. Obviously, um, number one still probably being the uh, LJPs without question. Um, but then Era Era, Era was the one with. Um, um, when he's playing the dual role. Right. Um, and then... Is it Ira? Ira or something. Anyway. Like uh, and then... I think that came out last year, the one with Subin, the, the horror one that that, uh, we, that we really enjoyed. Uh, but I think that was last year's film. But there's no way... There's really no way for... I mean, do you know how we can be made aware of what's coming out? This video. This is it. Yeah. And there's al no... Also, normally it's like two weeks in advance that they yeah. release a trailer. Right. Or a couple days sometimes. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, so looking forward to being able to look forward to some films coming out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, you know, we love some Malayalam cinema. Here we go. After this article, in 2022, more than 90% of Malayalam movies flopped at the box office. But just based on what's coming next, it looks like everything is about to change forever. Hello and welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today's video is about eight upcoming Malayalam movies that I'm extremely excited to watch. And let's start with RDG with them. Not too long ago, in a round table with film company, the Vikram one? actor Prithviraj said this about his ambition for Malayalam cinema. I want to do it for the Malayalam industry. What I remember I this. For the Telugu industry. I just want to be able to create something that gives all of us the guts and the belief to dream big. This is not a statement that he just made in the air. Through his efforts, you can clearly see that Prithviraj is one of the very few actors who's trying to push the boundaries of Malayalam cinema. But his most ambitious project, along with veteran filmmaker Blessy, based on one of the most iconic We, we saw that. This is the, the one that yeah. was leaked. Its main character, Arjay Ivadam, has been through so many struggles yeah. and so yeah. many obstacles over the years, ever since it started production in 2010. Yeah. Budget issue shooting restrictions during COVID, the struggle of adapting a novel that's driven by the protagonist's narration to a film that has only 20% dialogues. Prithviraj's physical transformation over the years, every struggle that you can think of, RDG Ivadam has seen it all. But when the trailer of the film recently leaked onto social media, seeing every frame that seems so painstakingly crafted, fueled by Rehman's soundtrack, it looks like the effort is finally going to be worth it. Ajirinte Rantam Moshanam, following a similar ambition of taking Malayalam cinema to the next to level, Thomas reported budget of 40 crore rupees. A 3D film to be released in multiple languages. Is Jitin Lal's Ajayante Randa Moshnam or ARM starring Tovino Thomas in three roles set in three different times. Oh, wow. 1900, 1950, and 1950. Oh, that's wow. interesting. Months ago, the production house dropped just a pre-visualization glimpse of the film onto YouTube. And just looking at that, fans were saying that this is already better than the entire trailer of Adi Purush. They're saying it, not me. If Minnal Murli laid the foundation <laughs> bricks, it looks like AR 
Hey, That's funny. I, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Hey, it's... Films on this list are Fahad Fasil films. But before that, if you're a fan of Malayalam cinema or cinema in general, I think you're gonna love checking out FullyFilmy.in. Our oh, very fan merchandise Good for you. store. Good for you. Every product that a movie fan would love. And if you don't believe me, just watch <sighs> Alti Rao Hyderi in this interview of Film Companion, where she just talks about her favorite Fully Filmy t-shirt featuring her favorite icons of Indian cinema. How would this t-shirt not have walked into my life? I mean like... Oh, that's cool. It's me. Pony and Sylvan 2 is releasing in less than 10 days. So it's already out now. Official PS2 collection on Fully Filmy. Go watch that film. Fans. We have a brand new t-shirt which you can wear to the first day first show of Barbie. Sorry, open eye. <laughs> so go check out FullyFilmy.in. You'll oh, find a lot of cool I'm looking forward to Barbie. You know, Scott's in Oppenheimer. Don't find what you're looking Loved for. It? Come back no, he's in it. Oh, he's... Oh, gotcha. Yeah, he Barbie got a part of Oppenheimer. make sure that you'll find it the next time. Zoom up. 10 years ago, yep. 2013, a time when I knew almost nothing about Kannada cinema, suddenly out of nowhere, every cinephile community is talking about this one particular movie, which sounded so promising right from its plot that regular people, not production houses, regular people wanted to invest in it. I'm talking about Pawan Kumar's Lucia, which became the first crowd for Yeah, I haven't Kannada seen that one yet. Yeah. Which changed the game forever. Made on a budget of just 50 lakhs, Lucia started from quite literally being a dream project to becoming a modern day classic and its director became an overnight sensation. His unique style of storytelling and his ability to take mind-bending subjects and turn them into deeply affecting psychological dramas made him one of the most promising young filmmakers to look forward to. And even if he's just made one feature film since then, which was U-Turn, which he remade into Tamil and Telugu later, the mere mention of Pawan Kumar creates excitement. But it doesn't stop there. Few months ago, Hombale Films, the producers of the KGF Universe, announced yeah. that they will be investing 3,000 crores into the entertainment sector. So you and have it. Assume <laughs> that it's mostly going to be used for multiple parts of KGF or other big budget Kannada films. But what we didn't know is that Hombale was going to enter different industries, different languages, and create some of the most interesting collaborations that the country has never seen before. One of them is Tyson, a boxing drama directed by and starring Prithviraj, and the other is Dhuma. Pawan Kumar teaming up with Fahad Fasi for the first time and co-starring Aparna Balamurli. This is going to be special. Hanuman Gear. When I heard of this title for the first time, I had no idea what this was going to be about. I thought it's some religious movie. But Hanuman Gear actually refers to a particular crawler gear in a vehicle that drivers use to climb up hills. Fahad Fasil apparently plays an off-road driver who takes part in these races in the Idiki region. And from the poster, fans have decoded that his character could be based on a real-life off-road racer. Palakkaran Achyan Bilo Chiram Puri. That's the real-life racer. And this picture of his this went viral on social media just after the mud race in the Budan Kittu Fest in 2016. Until a close friend told me about it, I had no idea about this world of off-road races in South India, which is actually a very big deal. It's a completely Sounds like a Jeep. world yeah, which mudding. obviously makes for great cinema. And fun fact, actor Joju George, he's also a huge fan of the sport. And last year, there was even a case filed against him for participating in an off-road race without having proper permissions. Pachum Adpuda Vedakum. One of the most Get viral off my lawn. in recent Malayalam cinema. Was yeah, the one I think this one's already, this. I think it's already out, but we didn't get it. of people who come to a yeah. wedding just for the food, hogs it when the photographer is not focusing on him, and then complaining about the same meal. Usually, Fafa is part of so many unique, interesting projects which are so plot-driven. But then, there's this other side of it where he just plays a happy-go-lucky character in films where you don't really care about the story. You're just there for the feel-good vibe. Pachum Adpuda Vilakum is Fafa written Aww. exactly Such a that sad Fafa vibe, face. which we need every once in a while. And this film is a little extra special because it'll be the last on-screen appearance of legendary actor Aww. Innocent right before he passed away recently. Next up, Two Dulkar Salman films which I'm really excited about. Otram Kadakam. There are two things about this project that Shubin. really got me psyched. Number one, I love it when friends come together to make a film. And here, Dulkar Salman is reuniting with his friend Saubin Shahir, who's directing the film. Years after Parava, which was this lovely story set in Kochi about friendship. Number two, the poster. From the looks of it, it felt like Malayalam cinema is going to give its first stoner comedy. But from the IMDb page of this film, the synopsis says that the film is about a love story that takes place during the war in 1964. At the same time, in some of his interviews, Saubin himself just reveals the film to be just a comedy. So I guess no one really knows what the film is about, which really adds to the anticipation. 
King of Gotha, another film which has two friends coming together, Dulkar and Abhilash Joshi, the son of legendary filmmaker Joshi, making his directorial debut in a commercial gangster film. A genre which we've seen so many of lately, but it's still exciting. And I made an entire video about that, you can go check it out over here. But right from that shooting rap video that went viral, this project has blockbuster written all over it. And hopefully, it lives up to that promise. And finally, Malay Kote Wali. Yep. Lijo Jos Pelesheri or LJP is no longer just a filmmaker. He's become a brand. Whether his film set the box office on fire- Are we getting another LJP film this year? Creates a whole bunch of curiosity prior to its release and a whole bunch of discussion post its release. One superstar ticked off the bucket list and it's time for the next one. Ever yep. since the LJP Bornal combination was announced, the internet was going nuts <laughs> trying to guess what this movie could be about. Because with Lijo, you know you're not going to get anything straightforward. No. And then they dropped this poster. Is it a sci-fi film? A fantasy what? story about a giant like BFG? Until they dropped the first look with Lalitan pulling a bunch of gigantic ropes. Even I had no idea what the film is about. And I recently found out that it's actually a period drama about a legendary wrestler in his 60s. So one thing is for sure. This is not going to be a small film. Before we go, a few more special mentions. Alien Alian, Ratish Balakrishnan oh, no! sequel to the hilarious Android Kunjapan. Kadal starring the fresh, very interesting combination of Mamuti. Jyotika and Mamuti. 2018, Jude Anthony Joseph's survival drama based on the 2018 Kerala floods with a crazy star cast. Ram with a Drishim combo, Jitu Joseph and Mohan Lal reuniting for a story about a raw agent. And finally, RDX, an action entertainer whose shooting has been disrupted multiple times apparently because of controversial star Shane Nigam's behavior on the sets. And that's it for today's list of the upcoming Malayalam movies that I'm most excited about. You can tell me your picks in the comments. Please don't forget to check out fullyfilmy.in. You can follow me on Instagram or Twitter for more of my... Yeah, okay, so there's a lot there. There is a lot going uh, on. That Are we getting that LGP film this year? It sounded like that, or if, maybe if we get two LGP films in a year, that would be that would be amazing. Um, okay, so I want to see that poster. So, okay, so he's playing a wrestler of some sort. Yeah, he said a, a, a real life wrestler from nineteen sixty something. There's the other one with the footprints. It just doesn't even look like a. Because it's all very, like, not in LGP style, but those could just be the posters. The feet one's interesting. Yeah, those are birds in the sky back there, right? Yeah. So maybe he's just as behemoth of a man, and that's supposed to symbolize that. Maybe. Obviously. Made his mark in the world. LJP is no stranger to symbolism mm -hmm. in his films. Yeah. I think that's one of the things he's uh, most known for. And originality. Uh, and, like, subcontext of what is actually being shown on screen yeah. is so important. But it looked like there's so many interesting projects. What was that one about the alien? Have it we... was... Uh, which one? The one, the honorable mention. Oh. Uh... But it's part two. That's this. It's the sequel to. We haven't seen that. We haven't seen that. What's no, the one? I, I think you're thinking. I'm of, thinking of the robot one. The robot one. Too yeah. Long. No. I was thinking of the robot one. That one. Whatever this is, please let us know because it looks incredibly interesting. I love if it's like sci-fi at all. Um, I'd be incredibly interested in that. Um, there's a lot of Mahmoudi and Mohanlal stuff coming out. Yeah. I've heard about this 2018 thing. Uh, I'm. I mean. Obviously, LJP is going to be incredibly interesting to me, but that um, the one with is the Vikram one not? I guess that would make sense. If it's it Vikram, it must be Tamil. It must be yeah, it must not be. He's a Tamil actor. That would have been in here. Um, this is that one with uh, yes, that, we saw we saw him. We were amazed at what he looked like physically, and yeah. we, it was so pretty, and we were pissed as rightly so that it had been leaked yeah um the yeah. other thing i noticed and it wouldn't surprise me the way he pronounced fafa's name and subin's name he well he called him if i'm remembering it correctly he called him fahat fasil yeah fahat fasil fahat fasil no it's fahat fasil yeah we say fahat fasil <laughs> but he said fahat fasil and he didn't say subin hmm. he said something like subin subin yeah like subin subin so yeah, we are. We have a long history 
of pronouncing things incorrectly for a very, very, very long time. Have we time. seen more Subin or more Fafa films? It's probably close. I bet it's really close. Because one, they've been in multiple together. As yeah, well. I bet it's. I bet it's. I think we might have I, even seen more Subin. I, I yeah, I wouldn't bet money on on that bet as far as which of the two we've seen more of. I think we've seen more Subin. Because also including everything that he's supporting in, right? Which is a quite a, a bit lot. of Malayalam yeah. cinema. Yeah, a lot. Um, not anymore, obviously. I, but. At the very outset, I and I'm sure it's accurate. Ninety percent of the box office in 2022 was flop for Malayalam cinema. Yeah, yeah. Wow. I think that's actually. I, I would almost guarantee if you just in, expand it out into Indian cinema, mm. that's probably correct for even Indian cinema. It's just wow. what does well at the box office right now is only big, bombastic films. So in other words, my theory about the intelligence of the human race getting lower and lower and lower is actually panning out with the kinds of entertainment people are uh, enjoying. Yeah, I mean, there's also other factors in there. Oh, okay. Obviously. I, uh, we're, that's still, 2022 was still post-COVID ramifications. But, uh, no, I'm saying it's more of like financial for a lot of people they post covid if they're going to go out yeah. and spend money yeah. they want it to be a spectacle of course a lot of apparently indians don't like to see like real life on cinema they want to escape it's that's a lot of I, what I get the it. masses in india like i get it is escapism and right. i think that's primarily true for the world that's true for a lot of people especially if you're not in like the industries or stuff like that people want if they're going to spend especially in america you spend shit tons of money going to the theater nowadays um it's for escapism yeah. Because, you know, life is hard. You don't want to see a hard story depicted. Yeah. A lot of people don't want to see that. I like to see that. I do. But I like to see everybody in our flawed human condition and the fact that we're all in this together. Not everybody so. has the same taste. True, obviously. true, true. Um, but uh, Malayalam Cinema, I'd be interested in all these. Uh, so please let us know what you're most into. Uh, Fafa. Yeah, what are, you most an- what are you most anticipating? I hope we get uh, Malayalam, unfortunately. I, no. You don't get a lot. We didn't get like that new Fafa he one that just came out. The, yeah, the even, feel good one. Even someone as big as Fafa, we don't get all his films. Even down where we saw LGP's film, it's not it, playing there. Nope. Um, which is unfortunate. But uh, I'd be interested in a lot of these. Uh, so down below, please let us know which ones you're most anticipating. If there's some that weren't on this list, uh, please let us know. Yeah, as and if well. there's anything we can do, we've said this before to to spread the word. There have been times where directors and or producers have sent us screeners that allow us to see the film and review it, which we really would love to do. Let so anybody who wants to do that, down below. Just-